Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm gonna to look at Crochet World Spring 2024. I didn't think I was getting any more of these magazines, but here we go, I have another one. So let's get started. I always turn to the back when I do these because I like to see what's in the magazine before uh, flipping page by page. I like to get a preview, if you will, of everything. So looking at the projects, this looks like a cute toy. These are cute. I don't know if I'd put real flowers in them, but I have fake flowers. Doily, 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 butterfly doily. Uh, this is a cool looking blanket. I like that. This one's beautiful. Uh, we have another blanket over here. Looks like a ripple. We have a flower doily, some dishcloths. This is interesting. Blind cleaner, genius. A Swiffer, a duster. This is on the front. This is pretty. This looks like a, um, a scarf I made. That kind of patterning. Pillow? No, uh, it's a purse. I see the strap. Shawl. This is cute, cute Cardi. This looks like a lot of work, but it's beautiful. I like this a lot. That would make beautiful curtains. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is adorable. This is a container, coasters, and a cute bear. So I'm going to flip back to the front and take a peek at what is used, more closer up looks at the pictures, uh, talk about the designers. So it says this issue is to bring you beautiful and fun items to get your house spick and span. I also have a few afghans that will help you clearing out some of your yarn scraps that perhaps you accumulated while doing all of your winter holiday gift crocheting. This is like the main, main page where it tells you where everything is at. This is really pretty once you see it closer up. Uh, washcloth looks very familiar. Very, very familiar. I'm gonna go on to the next page. So I always cover up the patterning. Uh, this is the puzzle Tawashi, designed by Cindy Adams. Origami meets crochet in this cheerful little scrubber. Skill level is easy. It is four inches square, made with red heart super saver. Uh, I think it's a cute idea. I don't know. Definitely probably for an older kid if it comes apart because our granddaughter wants to eat like everything. So, but it's a cute idea. So this is also very pretty close up. These are fake flowers, by the way. Uh, Modern Hanging Basket by Nicole Burns. This two-tone basket with its semi-circular bottom is perfect for displaying a wide array of items. Skill level is easy. Um, it uses Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick, super bulky. So these would be really fast to make. They are super bulky six. I like those for decor. Although, again, we've been minimizing decor because our granddaughter eats everything. So can't see it yet, but this is Petra Bunny. Design is by uh, Fat Lady Crochet. This easy to stitch amigurami bunny would make the perfect accent for your Easter decor or of course a great addition to a kid's Easter basket. I'm gonna, I'm covering up the pattern. Uh, skill level is easy. Finished measurement is six and a half inches tall. So it's kind of a small bunny-ish. Uh, Burnett Super Value. You could use probably any worsted white four on this one. Pretty adorable. I like the eyes, very cute. This is Nina's doily by Olga Shalavia. This small doily is a great way to add an elegant and personal touch to your home decor. It is skill level intermediate and they use the scapiers, 
Dona Super Fine Fingering Weight Cotton Yarn. It is super pretty. Whole section here on making crochet garments that fit. This is excellent for anyone making garments. Good tips there. This is the Love and Hugs Doily by Gemma R. Owen. Rings of hearts are cleverly created in three rounds of stitching in this unique doily, just in time for Valentine's Day decorating. Well, it's after Valentine's Day, but you could make this anytime. Uh, skill level is intermediate. It is 15 and 3 fourths inches in diameter when it is done, and it calls for Elizabeth size 10 crochet cotton thread. I will scoot over the paper here. I just do not show you the pattern, but show you the beautifulness of that edging. Very pretty, very nice. In the same spirit, we have the Tiny Hearts Doily by Diane Stone. Here's a unique, heartfelt way to say I love you to someone special. An exquisite, one-of-a-kind doily. Skill level is intermediate. It's 11 inches in diameter and calls for size 10 cotton, crochet cotton. And you also can see hearts on that one too. This one is the Easter Pastels Doily by Emma Wiley. This doily with its colorful border and assortment of Easter eggs will make the perfect accent for your spring table setting. Skill level is easy. Finish measurement is 14 inches in diameter and it calls for Elizabeth size 10 cotton. I like this one a lot. I, I really like the egg idea. That was genius of them. This is super cute and pretty. I like it a lot. I think if you used a larger yarn, you could make this a wall hanging. I think that'd be really cute. So this is Butterfly's Fancy Table Set. Designs are by Maggie Tesh. Floral motifs are joined with Ruge's lace to create this beautiful and unique table setting. So these are napkin rings. I think this alone could be a great wall hanging. These are the editor's favorites. Um, mix and match modern crochet blankets. It's a book. Uh, yarn tender. Yarn tenders are designed to wrangle your yarn skeins while you work. This removable leather tender handmade by Artifact and their artifact in their Omaha, Nebraska studio. Fits over the handle of your crochet project bag and keeps each color you are working with separated. Pretty genius. Uh, I would probably end up ripping that off though, so it probably wouldn't work for me, but that's a great idea. Uh, Artsy Arthur sticker packs. Interesting. Um, it is sold by an Etsy shop sticker packs. So I, I'm not going to comment on that. I have gone over stickers on my channel before and where you can get them. Uh, you can check them out. They have their Etsy store, Artistic Arthurs. Check them out. Uh, yeah. This is Spring Breeze Afghan by Christine Moody. Quickly work up scrappy panels and join them in this unique and fun crochet afghan. It's really pretty. I like the colors in this a lot. Uh, calls for a medium worsted weight acrylic yarn. What did they use? It looks like you can scan this code to purchase three ounce skeins of it. It doesn't say what was used. Skill level is easy. I guess you could just use your scraps up and uh, you already like the color because you already bought it. This is the Garden Afghan by Dot Drake. Use up your scraps and test your crochet skills with this colorful motif filled afghan. Very cool. I like the motifs on here. They're pretty. They could be trivets too. Uh, calls for medium worsted weight yarn. Apparently any color you want. Uh, intermediate skill level. Finished measurements 44 by 66. This is the Scrap Bar Jello 
Bargello Afghan by Diane Poliat. You will find this project hard to put down as you create a rippling effect with your scrap yarn. Finish measurements is 57 by 75. Skill level is easy, medium worsted weight yarn. You could do your team colors on this one. That would be pretty cool. These are really cute. Wild Rose set by Sherry Jacobson. Beauty meets functionality in this floral dishcloth and scrubby set. Skill level is easy. Uh, dishcloth is 10 and a half inches in diameter, five in it. Five inches in diameter, not including hanger, is the scrubby. Materials used was peaches and cream medium worsted weight yarn. I like them. I think that'd be a good gift. This is Special Stitches Washcloths by Bendy Carter. These reversible washcloths, each using a different stitch pattern, make great housewarming gifts for springtime parties. Skill level is intermediate. Finished measurements, uh, 11 inches square. It is... Knit Picks Simply Cotton Sport Fine Sport Weight Cotton Yarn. It's a two. I'll scoot this up so you can see it. That almost looks knitted, the way those stitches end up. Very cool. And then here are more. And then we have this guy. This is Octopus by Cindy Adams. Cleaning just became a whole lot more entertaining with the help of this creative mitt. It is skill level easy. It is nine inches long when it's done. Calls for Caron Simply Bright's medium worsted weight acrylic yarn. This could, uh, this could be a cute way to have your little ones help you clean. This is the mini blind cleaner by Ashleya Conesy. Slide this cleaner onto your fingers or set or a set of tongs to dust between those hard to clean slats on your blinds. What was used? Skill level is easy. Premier home cotton, medium worsted weight. Finish measurements eight and a half inches long by two inches wide. I think they're pretty cool. I think that's pretty genius of a design right there. This is a reusable cleaning pad. Design and video instruction by Deborah Arch. Use this clever faux fur technique to finish off the body of this cleaning pad. It's designed to fit a Swiffer sweeper mop, but it can be adapted to fit almost any mop. So it's like the Swiffers that we've seen for years except she did like fringy fur on it. I'll show you the next picture. You can see it better over here. Uh, skill level is easy. Finished measurements five by 10, excluding the fur calls for Circulo Natural Cotton Multicolor Premium Medium Worsted Weight Yarn, number four. This is a dusting mitt. This is by Pamela Noel. Cleaning is a breeze with this washable mitt with fringe that grabs onto the dust as you go. Skill level is easy. Finish measurements 11 by 13, including fringe. Medium worsted weight cotton yarn. Do you have a problem cleaning with stuff like this? Like dishcloths, I do. Uh, the duster probably would be all right, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the dusting spray would get on everything else and I'd have to wash it with like a rug or something. Uh, like the scrubber for the floor, I think is a good idea, but I, the Swiffer things, I, I like tossing them. I like throwing them in the garbage and I don't have to clean them. But uh, the Swiffer thing on the other page could be good just to get dust and debris. I would like if you have hardwood floors, I think that is what I would use it for whenever I get hardwood floors. This is that beautiful cover piece. Uh, this is Lovely Lace Cardigan. This is by Nazanin S. Fard. Intricate lace with basic stitches and cotton yarn come together to create this beautiful cardigan, perfect for hot summer days. 
Scale level is moderately challenging and it gives you small, medium, large, extra large, 2X and 3X. And it uses Escapier's Katona Super Fine Fingering Weight Cotton Yarn. Super pretty. I think it's very beautiful. This is Watercolor Waves Poncho by Rebecca Greco. The variegated colors of this yarn enhance the appearance of the stitches to give this poncho a mix of movement and color. Skill level is easy. Finish measurement 61 and a fourth wide before seaming by 20 and a half inches deep. Premier Hipster Cotton Light DK Weight Yarn. This is the Dancing Waters Tote by Joyce Geisler. This cute tote features a unique spiraling stitch in fringe, in the fringe, as a zipper pull and even in the granny squares themselves, while a textured pattern adds visual interest to the main body. I do like that textured interest. Very much, very nice. Skill level is intermediate. Bag is 17 by 16 and 3 fourths. Uh, fringe is two inches long, handle 39 inches long by a f one and a fourth inches wide with clasp hooks on. Motifs are five and a half inches by four inches blocked. Calls for circulo charm, fine sport weight, mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton yarn. A number two. I think it's really cool. I would probably make the bag without the squares though. The strap is really nice too. This is the Soft Lavender Cardigan by Kristen Stoltzfus Clay. This relaxed, breezy, openwork cardigan features flared sleeves and a fun little surprise diamond design on the back. Is easy to dress up or down for spring. It does look very easy. I like the arm detail. Uh, skill, level, skill level is intermediate. Uh, finish size is small, medium, large, Extra large 2X, 3X. Cascade Ultra Pima Light DK Weight Yarn. A number three. Uh, probably has the picture of the back on the next page, so it sure does. And just like that. Very nice. This is the Strawberry Ripple Throw by Randy Cavalier. Work cables in a gentle chevron pattern with an ombre or variegated yarn to create the intricate appearance of this future heirloom. Skill level is intermediate. Finished measurements 56 inches wide by 60 inches long. Uh, uses Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Medium Worsted Weight Yarn. Um, Premier just came out with a yarn that you could use this with. Uh, Karen Simply Soft has an ombre yarn. I did see that Michaels used to have an ombre yarn, but I never, I never saw that at the store and I never had that, but there's a lot of ombres out there. Obviously there's, um, my favorite ombre, which is Lion Brands. So yeah, this could be worked up in any medium four weight yarn for that measurement. You can use any yarn you want. It just will make your project either smaller if you're using smaller yarn or bigger if you're using bigger yarn. I could see this with a uh, puzzle would be really pretty as well. So this is that pretty scarf. I think this would make a fantastic curtain. Darling Delights Wrap by Jane Snedden Peaver. This light spring wrap is created with individually worked macaroon style medallions in a variety of sweet spring colors. The simple, the simple filler motifs are reminiscent of soft swirled whipped cream. Yeah, I can see that. I like this a lot. Uh, not for a scarf. I think the scarf is fine. I would definitely make like a, a valance out of this. Yep. Or a wall hanging. I think it would be really pretty. Skill level intermediate. Finished measurements 22 by 60, including edging and excluding fringe. Uh, uses Scapier's Soft Fun Light DK Weight Cotton Acrylic Yarn, a number three. And then we have the Souffle 
The Fleece Teddy by Julia Chang. This jumbo amigurami is made with fleece yarn that results in the uber soft look and feel resembling a store-bought plushie. Your friends won't believe you crocheted it. Skill level is easy. Finished measurements 6 by 9. Uh, uses Lion Brand Gopher Fleece Sherpa Jumbo Roving Weight Polyester Yarn and Lion Brand Baby Soft Light DK Weight Acrylic Nylon Rayon Yarn. Uh, yeah, pretty cute. Then we have some coasters. Cinnamon Roll Coaster by Diana Rushholt for Yarnovations.com. Stitches from three balls of yarn chase each other around, creating a delicious looking cinnamon swirl treat, sweet enough to rest your beverage upon. It does. It does look like a cinnamon, a cinnamon roll. Uh, skill level is easy. Finished measurement, four inches in diameter. Materials, lily, sugar, and cream, supersized, medium, worsted weight, cotton yarn, and regular lily, sugar, and cream, medium, worsted weight, cotton yarn. Next, we have the Corner Cake Basket by Deborah Arch. This fun kitchen accent is a great place to store small essentials for cooking and baking, or yarn. <laughs> uh, skill level, intermediate. Finished measurements, 15 and a half by six inches tall. And it is 11 and a half inches deep. Uses Premier Ribbon, super bulky, super chunky weight, cotton polyester yarn, which is a six. I think that's adorable. Textured Icing Tunisian Throw by Tara Orchard. Learn some new Tunisian stitches as you create this beautifully textured throw. Absolutely, fantastically gorgeous. Skill level intermediate. Finished measurements 46 by 53. Premier yarns anti-pilling everyday worsted medium. That's a four weight. Beautiful. This one goes up to 5x. It is the Cotton Candy Tunic and Cowl. The cowl is made separately. This is by Melissa Leapman. This breezy tunic with a detachable cowl has almost no shaping, making it the perfect garment project. Skill level is easy, uh, goes all the way up to a 5X. Calls for Plymouth Yarn Bristol Yarn Gallery Ashton Light 3 weight yarn. And that is it. Uh, so what was your favorite? What was your favorite? What would be like, yeah, I wanna make that. What would I want to make? I really like these tiny little motifs a lot. I feel like you could do a lot with them. They'd be a good to go project. So I would say that's my favorite for sure. I think this is the most genius idea in, in the book is the blind cleaner. So leave a comment. Let me know what you would make in this book because I'm always curious. Uh, what you guys think of the patterns in here, and which ones you'd be interested in making. I absolutely love this blanket, but that's a lot of work because uh, Tunisian does not have ergonomic handles. <laughs> so I'd have to go to the big size uh, and then the, the project would get really cumbersome or only do it like every once in a while because uh, Tunisian crochet really gets to my hands. That's why I don't do it very often. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate you uh, until next time.